Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the problem binary tree to doubly linked list. In this problem, we will be given a binary tree and we have to convert the given binary tree into a doubly linked list. Okay, what is a doubly linked list? So basically a doubly linked list is a linked list in which we can move in the forward direction as well as in the backward direction. Okay, the left and the right pointers uh, in the node will be used as the previous and the next. So you will be not making any other class for the linked list nodes. You'll be using the same tree node class, okay? Because every node has a right and left pointer. So, in order to indicate the next node, we'll be using the right pointer, and in order to indicate the previous node, we'll be using the left pointer, okay? Then after that, the problem says that the order of the node in the doubly linked list, because if you have been given a tree, right? So we have to store that tree in a doubly linked list. Now, what order of the tree should be stored in the doubly linked list? In which format? should the tree be stored in the doubly linked list it should be stored in the in order format what is in order in order is basically left then root and then right so firstly we need to process the left part then we need to process the root and then after that we process the right here okay so let's understand this using the example suppose that if we have got one then we have got what we have got two and then we have got three if this is the example that we have got initially i'll declare a head variable okay my head will be what like you can say that my head variable will be indicating null Okay, also one more thing that I always need to keep a track of the previous node. Why? Because suppose that I'll be at a like I'll be at a particular current node. Okay, so I also need to know my previous node. So initially I can update my previous as null because initially there is no previous node uh, that I am at. Okay, why do we need this? I'll tell you about this as we keep on moving further in the dry run. Now what I'll do is when I start from the uh, node as one. Okay, when I start from one. So it is not null it, it exists okay so this node exists now firstly my trigger movement will be towards the left side because we are, we are doing the we are doing the in order traversal so we'll come to the left guy now when we come to the left we come to two now when we go to two's left what is two's left two's left is basically null since it is null so we'll go back up now after that uh, like firstly when we are at a particular node we go to the left once we come back to the, from the left we process the root now the current uh, node that i'm at it is basically what it is basically two if I'm at two, I'll check that in my uh, in my uh, tree. Uh, sorry, in my doubly linked list, uh, have I updated any nodes? No. If you see my head is null, this means that I've not started. If I'm not started, then initially I'll do what? I'll update my head as two only, as as this particular current node. If my head is null, I'll update my head as this particular node only. Okay. Then after that, what will happen is then after that, when you're going away uh, from the from this particular uh, node. Right, then what is going to happen is you are going to uh, like you are going to go up. Okay, and before going away from the current node, we'll update the previous as the current node. So previous will be updated to what? Previous will be updated to this particular node, let's say uh, 2 here. Okay, so now the previous node is basically updated to 2. Uh, and initially the head has been updated to 2 also. Now when you go back up, now with respect to 1, when you come back, so you are coming back from the left and now you are at 1. So now the node is basically 1 and this is the current node that we have. Okay. Now with respect to the current node, you want to do what? With respect to the current node, you want to update the current left as the previous and the previous is what? Previous is basically two only. So current uh, left would be updated to previous. And then after that, what do you want? You also want the, uh, you also want uh, the previous next to be current. So you want two's next to be one. Okay. This is something that will happen. Now after that, my previous would be what? Now my previous would be basically uh, pointing to uh, this particular node that is uh, uh, one because now my previous will behave as one. Okay, because I'll be going on the right and before going on the right, I'll update my previous. So what will happen now is now I am at this particular node that is uh, three. Okay, when I come to this current node as three, okay, and my previous is what? My previous is basically one. Okay, then what uh, changes do we need to make? Uh, for this particular current node, we need to update the previous as, uh, we need to update three's left as one. Uh, okay, and uh, then after that, one's right as three. This is what we'll update here. Okay, then we go back up here and then the recursion is overall over. Okay, so what we did was we are traversing the tree in the in order format whenever we are at a particular node. Okay, so what we do is we check what is the previous node. Okay, and with respect to the current node, okay, the left for it would be updated to uh, previous that we have. And for the previous node, its next node that is the right node would be the current node. So this is something that we update. And before going away from this recursion, uh, like uh, if when we are moving away from the current node, we have to update the previous as current. Okay. After this, later on, we have to update the previous as current so that for the next recursive calls, our previous is always updated. Okay. So this is something that we need to do. 
and let's try and dry run on another sample let's say the sample is 10 20 30 40 and 60 okay so suppose i have got what i have got uh, something like 10 then 20 then i've got what i've got 30 then i've got what 40 and then i've got 60 here okay if i've got this particular test case initially my head would be what initially my head would be null as well as my previous would be null only right so my head and uh, previous you can understand are null whenever i am at a particular node i'll try to go on the left then i'll process the root and then i'll go on the right so with respect to 10 i'll go to 20 now with respect to 20 i'll go to 40 with respect to 40 when i go on the left i go to null okay then i'll go back up uh, because it, it was null now i'm at 40 i'll process 40 so since my head is null so uh, that is why i'll update my uh, uh, head node as basically this particular node that is 40 and my previous would be pointing to this particular guy as well okay then i'll go back up from this uh, node uh, and then when we go to the current node as 20 so my current node is what 20 now if my current node is 20 so 20s left would be updated as the previous and 20s right would be updated as the current okay then after that before moving away from the current node 20 i'll update the previous as the current node and then next time we'll move on to what we'll move on to the right part so we'll move on to 60 now when we move on to 60 current node is 60 so with respect to previous right i'll update the current and with respect to the previous left i'll update uh, current left i'll update the previous okay so 60s left would be 20 and 20s right would be 60 this is what is updated here okay then after that uh, before moving away from the uh, before moving away from the current node that is 60 we'll update uh, we'll update this okay so what is going to happen is like the previous node will be this one okay and my head is still standing here now when we go back up here okay then the current node is 10 with respect to 10 its left would be updated as 60 60 is right would be updated as 10 and this is the current now next time what will happen before moving away from 10 because when we are at 10 its left is process will go on the right before going on the right we'll update the previous as 10 and the current node is now 30 when we are at 30 pre uh, 10s next would be 30 and uh, 30s uh, 10s right would be 30 and 30s left would be 10 here okay this is what we update and this is the current node then after that uh, like because with respect to uh, 30 there was no left so we process 30 and going on the right also we don't find anything so we'll go back up we'll update the previous as uh, basically 30 but uh, after that we will not get any node so let's see if we are getting this traversal or not we will get 40 20 60 10 and 30 let's see 40 20 60 10 and 30 this is what we get so we keep on doing the in order traversal once we get a particular current node we always keep a track of the previous node before moving away from the current node we always update the previous and when we are at a current node we update the currents left to the previous node and then current uh, like previous right to the current node okay so let's try and do this uh, so that we can implement this question so yeah what i need is i need two global variables for myself that is the head uh, node uh, okay and i also need the node star previous for storing the occurrence of the previous node then after this uh, what i need to do here is i need to uh, check uh, i need to make initially make my head as null so initially we'll declare the head node as null here okay then after that we also need to declare the uh, previous as null here okay then once we have updated our previous and uh, uh, head as null then we need to start with our recursion okay and uh, what we will do is we'll start the recursion uh, from the root we'll start the traversal of the tree from the root only okay and then what we will do is we'll basically return the head after the traversal would be over here okay then what we need to do is we need to uh, call this void recursive function okay and we can say that we'll have the node star the current node that we are at okay now after this if the current node suppose is what if the current node is null then you simply need to do what you simply need to return away from there okay otherwise what you need to do is you need to call the recursion first of all in the left part so you need to first of all go in the current's left you need to iterate on the left first of all okay once your left is over so you process the left then the root and then the right so pro after processing the root you will process the current uh, node okay so for processing the current node i need to check one thing that suppose if my head is null so if the head is null this means that the uh, if the head is null this indicates that the current node that i am at it is going to be the very first node of the doubly linked list so then i'll update my uh, current to what then i'll then i'll update my current to the head only okay uh, sorry i'll update my head to the current if my head is null then whatever current node that i have it will behave as my head node of the doubly linked list otherwise if it is already updated then i need to do what then with respect to the previous node i want to say that it's right node or indirectly it's uh, its next node would be current and with respect to the current node its left should be updated as what 
as the previous node. Okay. Once this is done, then I need to say that my previous should be the current node now before we move away from this particular node. Okay. And then we call the recursive function for what? For currents right here. So what you do, what you are basically doing is you are basis, basically processing the left. Then after that, you are processing the root, the current the root node that you are at. And then before moving away, you are updating the previous as current. Okay. And then you call on the right. So this is something that we need to do here. In order traversal is being done and we are just updating the connections here. Initially, if the head was null, so there was no node updated. So the head would be the current node itself. Okay. Otherwise, if we already have updated, updated the head, then with respect to the current, we'll update the previous, uh, like with respect to the previous right, we'll update current and with respect to current left, we'll update previous. Okay. Let's try and compile this to check if it is working fine on the samples or not. It's working fine. Let's submit this code to check if it is getting accepted. It should get accepted now. So you can clearly see that our code is getting accepted here. Okay. Now talking about the time and the space for this problem. Okay. So the time complexity for this problem would be basically order of n because we are iterating through all the n nodes. Talking about the space complexity of my code. So that would be order of one. Why it would be order of one? Because I'm not taking any uh, like, uh, like in terms of uh, linked list, I'm not making any extra linked list, but uh, order of one for connecting, but there is order of n space. Basically, you can say that uh, the connections will take constant space because I'm just changing the links of the connections, but order of n space complexity because of the recursive stack space, because I'm running a in order uh, re recursion. Okay, so that's why uh, the recursive uh, calls will take order of n space in the worst case if the tree is skewed in nature. So I hope that you have understood this problem clearly. In case if you have any doubts, you can mention that in the comments and I'll try to answer that as soon as possible. If you understood this clearly, make sure to comment understood. Thank you for watching this video.